Welcome to this week's episode. In this week's Transit Energy, we're going to be taking a look at trait 13, the listener. If you have trait 13 in your design, or if you temporarily have it at the moment because of the transit energy, this is all about being able to listen and to keep the secrets of those people that talk to you. If you speak to someone who has this trait in their design, you'll often find them speaking about the fact that people treat them as a confidant, someone that they can come to talk to and often tell them secrets that they have never told anyone before with the kind of assurance, you know, and this is happening at an energetic level, the assurance that they're never going to spread their secrets, their closely held secrets with anyone else. And because they listen so intently, it's actually quite a, awesome experience to speak to somebody like this because there's this feeling that they're listening with their entire being that they're absorbing all the information that you're sharing with them and then they're holding it close to their hearts ideally somebody with the traits on the other side with this the 33 is someone who gleans all the lessons learned from the experiences and from the listening and then shares the valuable lessons. They're not the person who shares the secrets. But those of you who have the 33 but not the 13, which is what we're talking about this week, you may absolutely hate any kind of marketing material, anything that says the seven secrets to blah, 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 the 10 secrets to whatever, because you're the person who likes to share what you've heard. You don't like to hold on to the secrets necessarily. But the energy of the 13, which is what we're speaking about this week, these people will guard the secrets with their life. Now when we're talking about a business context or a work or team environment, these people will often be called into positions of some type of accounting, record keeping, holding of the company secrets, uh, listening to all the information that's pertinent and really are the secrets of the company that when we understand these records from the past, when we understand these memories, all these things that we've heard and have been told to us over time, we're able to glean the message or the value from those, the lesson from those about moving forward into the future. So what should we repeat from the past and what should we not? You know, when I look at the historical records that I've kept about this company, this is what I see we should be moving forward with. And these are the things we need to let go of. So these people with this 13 trait are crucial within the working environment because they are the record keepers. And they would absolutely love seeing marketing that says the seven secrets to X, Y, and Z, because they are the secret holders and they want to know the secrets. It's in their energy dynamics you know remember this is all mechanical it's not personal you naturally always want to hear the secrets whether you consciously know it or not so if you don't usually have this energy in your chart in your design you might find this week that um, people are wanting to tell us their secrets and it's going to be interesting because you know we're not necessarily the holder of the secrets long term but I would encourage you to have in integrity here and ensuring that if anything is given to you in, in a confidential way, that you do hold on to those secrets um, for anyone that shares them with you. Or maybe if someone says, hey, I want to tell you a secret and I don't want you to tell anyone else, maybe you just need to have the awareness to say, look, I might not be the best person to share that with, especially if you have the 33 on the other side and you are essentially wanting to share um, all the pieces that you've learned. As I mentioned, ultimately, you don't want to share the secrets, just the value or the lesson that's learned from, from hearing all the different pieces. The thing about the 13 as well, and especially if we're talking about a business context, because they are the type of people that listen so intently, they actually absorb information or they know things about trends and people and um, marketplaces that other people wouldn't know because of the way that they listen. It's almost like they're a sponge to information, to absorbing all the necessary pieces of information that are relevant and crucial 
to the continuity of the business going forward because as they absorb this all these pertinent pieces they're then able to have these historical pieces of information which they know are going to work or don't work moving into the future part of the way that someone with the 13th trait listens is kind of between the lines they're able to glean the information that maybe some other some the those that don't have the 13 don't have access to and so while this energy is around this week i'd encourage you to really focus on this listening this ability to read between the lines you know and if you are planning certain pieces of where you're going to be moving your business into in in this year you know you may want to use this time to reflect on the past to glean the information that's hidden between the lines and then you know just listen just focus on listening being absorbed in that listening process of whatever's coming to you from the world around you and then as you've gone through those experiences you're going to be able to take the pertinent pieces of information and use them to move forward in your business if you're working on any marketing material in this week then you may want to play with talking about the seven secrets because almost everybody's going to be open to that this week because they're going to have that transit energy moving through them so you may want to just play with a blog post or something um, in this week talking about let me reveal the secrets to x y and z but one thing i would like to caution you here is are they really secrets you know do they have real value or are they just common knowledge because if you use those tactics but you're not really sharing anything that anyone doesn't already know then that marketing strategy is going to fall on its face so you really want to be able to to use that to your your advantage I'd be interested to hear how this transit energy shows up for you this week and if you've got any interesting stories about people sharing secrets or you telling someone secrets that you've never told I mean I'm happy for you not to share the secrets obviously but you know some interesting and funny stories about how that's shown up for you would be great um, in the comments and please don't for forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to be notified each week when I release a new episode um, each week the transit does change as the solar energy changes and so understanding the energy and how it's going to play out for that week can really help us tune into that and how um, it's actually activating our design or not. Thank you for tuning in today and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Bye for now.